The Department of Biochemistry and Medical Genetics brings together trainees and faculty from diverse disciplines, including clinical genetics, basic biomedical sciences, and computational biology that really create a unique environment. It's unique among the basic medical science departments and even within the institution. Our department has a vast variety of uh, research by different faculty members. Uh, my lab, per se, for example, we work on rare diseases such as Red Syndrome and also on more common diseases such as fetal alcohol spectrum disorders that would affect 1-2% to of the population. The unique aspect of BMG is that we have a mentorship group where senior students have the opportunity to learn how to mentor junior students and juniors have a great opportunity to understand how the infrastructure works at the department. The Department of Biochemistry and Medical Genetics has about 35 graduate students at any one time. This includes two mainstreams, the MSc and PhD streams that are research-based thesis streams, and then the genetic counseling stream that's a professional clinical program. All of them work together, and so it's a very uh, broad basis for all students. Some of us have a solid uh, uh, computer science, statistic, or computer engineering background. Others have, have a solid uh, biology or life science background. So during our daily work, we can collaborate with each other, we can learn from each other. So the genetic counseling program at University of Manitoba is unique because it has a strong research component, as our students do a full master's thesis. Um, and their research has been really implementing change, uh, both in the clinics locally, as well as uh, nationally and internationally, in terms of the outcomes of their work. Being an early researcher in the department is extremely exciting. Uh, we've got tons of young researchers uh, asking very exciting questions in research and science, uh, bringing together exciting world-class ideas so that we can do really cutting-edge research. There's abilities to get scholarships and funding and it's been such a really nice experience to kind of take the stuff that I've learned in undergrad and doing lab work previously and really apply it now in the field of genetic counseling and seeing where that can take me. You, you can use different models, different uh, statistic uh, knowledge to solve a specific clinical or biological question. Once you get the answer and you see your model works, your coding works, that uh, sense of achievement to uh, uh, make me, that's my favorite part of that. The MSc program in genetic counseling is quite interdisciplinary. Our students learn with PhD and MSc students, uh, both in research seminars and courses, as well as with uh, medical trainees and residents uh, on the clinical side. I think one of the biggest draws to the genetic counseling program here is actually just the province that we're located in. Manitoba has some really interesting founder populations, some things that you just won't see anywhere else in Canada, so that's been overall a really great and unique experience. So one of the primary reasons why I came to Winnipeg is the direct connection between healthcare research and primary research. So back in BC, I was working a lot with mass spectrometry, and then I met my supervisor here in Winnipeg, where we have the opportunity to essentially mobilize our research in method development and directly apply it to clinical trial samples. So I have to say that we have a really tight-knit environment with uh, faculty and students who are interested in uh, learning and supporting each other. Uh, and our students really get a nice personalized approach uh, in the program in Winnipeg as well. Winnipeg's a great place to live, lots of uh, outdoor activities and um, arts and culture scene in the city. It's a bit of an undiscovered gem. I have been very impressed with the quality of research and the environment and what Winnipeg can actually offer. I have been raised and lived in big cities, but I would prefer the uh, life and the training program here in Manitoba. We have uh, pioneer leaders in research programs in Manitoba and uh, many researchers with high quality uh, research projects. Diversity is a core component of everything that we do in research. Uh, it's really essential to uh, advancing science as a, as a whole and every aspect of what we do uh, involves including um, students, researchers and faculty from diverse backgrounds. Mm -hmm.